what's up guys? And thanks for joining for another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly and you know it, the Scarander. So yeah, this is a battle I had a few weeks back actually against Arc Flame. Uh, he's an OU player, uh, he has his own channel on his own, and I was gonna link it down below. Make sure to check him out and subscribe to him. Uh, he takes challenges on his channel and on Twitter if I remember correctly, so make sure to check him out. So other than that, this is actually my first try against in OU tier, uh, since the tier was established. And this was pretty much where I founded the Sandstream that I'm using in my mix tier at the moment. So um, this team is not that fought out, it got 2 NU and 4 OU. Uh, I'm just gonna try things out really. It's some standard sets and um, other than that my Tyranitar is fully heavily, I think special defensive and HP with Assault Vest and Sandstream. Should be able to wall any special hits really. And other than that, my sister is. Um, I think it's my defensive wall together with Gramble. Um, we got Sword Stance and Roots to stay in for long, long periods of time. And you'll see how that goes. And my opponent, obviously, Arc Flame here, is bringing pretty much the standard OU stuff. I did fear the Landers and uh, the Keldeo because Keldeo can pretty much dent my team. I don't have anything to wall it properly, so I did fear it a lot here. Uh, other than that, you know what? I was just really nervous throughout this game, so let's see how that actually went here. So I was fairly sure I was going to bring Landers here in the beginning, and I myself just going to go for Scissor, I just want to get the Mega Evolve up, and uh, since Heatran is a part of his team, I know he's going to switch out to that, he's not going to stay instead of the Rocks or anything like that, so I'm actually going to go for a knockoff here, expecting a Heatran, and I really felt that off was now that Having knockoff and bug bite might not have been the best type of moveset for uh, a Mega Sister, but you want to utilize Roost and Sword Stance, and it's quite hard with this offensive team that uh, Arklam is bringing. And my knockoff will roughly do nothing on this. Uh, I am fully defensive with um, some HP and a little HP or uh, attack, uh, so it's not that that threatening offensive. It needs the Sword Stance to work properly. So, I'm just gonna bring Tyranitar here, I know I can wall this guy, and uh, I just wanna get up the Sandstream, really. Uh, and I'm just gonna go for some neutral damage here, in case I wanna bring the Landorus. Um, I don't fear that he's gonna go for um, an earthquake or anything like that, but I just felt that Snappy might as well come in here and get him team laid off. I know Snappy can wall this guy rather effortlessly. And after a superpower, I'm really sure he's gonna switch out, so I actually decided to do something risky here, and I went for a Thunder Wave. So luckily for me, he actually decided to hard switch out and not going for a U-turn, and he's going into his heat run here, and I get the Thunder Wave off, like I said there, which is huge really, because it puts me in a very good position. So now I have speed, I have Earthquake, so I know I can one-shot this guy easily, right? I am way ahead of this recording. Anyway, uh, Earthquake does not take it out. I fell short, and he got the Lava Plume up, does way, way too much, plus he gets the burn, which is present like a skull. And that really, really sucks to me, because that means that my Gramble can't really be used properly. I'm gonna try, decide to try to fin finish this guy off. He see right through that, and switching to Landers, getting the teammate off. Plus the Earthquake doesn't affect it, which sucks for me. I should definitely try going for a Play Rough, or a Heal Bell, or anything really. So, I see no reason to switch out, I don't have anything that wants taking it more damage. So, my defensive wall is now gone for the team. So I'm just gonna bring George here, my slacking, go for retaliate. I know he's gonna switch into his Heatran, but you never know he's gonna decide to stay in. So, uh, Heatran obviously not able to take that damage at all. Um, he's gonna die. Pretty much, pretty much dying there. Yeah, that, that is obviously what's gonna happen. So here's the Keldeo. Uh, I thought I could take a Sacred Sword or Hydro Pump right away with Tyranitar with being a Salt Vessel, Special Defensive, Heavy HP, uh, and Sand. So, yeah, I really thought that that should put me in around a 40% range. That is 70 at best, so that is definitely specs. And uh, I just, I can't sack off my Tyranitar just yet, so I'm gonna actually to sack off my Zapdos, which isn't a fully health. Uh, so, really, really bad play from my part here, but I couldn't really sack off because I need my um, uh, what's it called? My Xodril to work more properly. So I know he's going to switch out to his Heatran here and I really want to take this guy out so I'm gonna go for Retaliate. And this sucks so bad that I don't kill it. 
Look at this. It got a slit of health, so I fell short yet again against one of his pokes. And obviously Sans is missing effect on him. And I can't sack off anything. So I'm just gonna bring in my fully defensive um, Scissor, which I think after Mega Form should be able to take an earthquake, right? No, it does well over 100, so I'm just gonna go for a bullet punch here, which I should have seen coming that it might try to switch out. Um, so I should definitely go for Roost instead, because now my Skylar is pretty much useless here. And I'm just gonna bring my Tyranitar to sack it off, uh, and getting the Sandstream off, and just do a little last effort with uh, my Exodrill, which is Sand Rush ability, if I remember correctly, and Choice Bandit. Um, doesn't work that well, but um, then again, I just wanted a fully heavily offensive team, so he, he fits right into it. So, you're just gonna go for an Iron Head here because I do think it's gonna switch out and you want some neutral stab damage. Uh, the Intimidate, of course, is affecting me heavily, and um, there is no reason for me to stay in after that. But I didn't want to go for an Earthquake, obviously, because that he would have avoided it. So, I'm just gonna go for an Iron Head here, hoping for a flinch. I got it. Uh, which is huge. So he decides to switch that one out. I kind of get that. So he's gonna bring his buy shop here, which does take this Iron Head really well. After an intimidate, of course, should do it. And uh, well, I'm just gonna bring Scholar here. There is I can't really do anything with it, so I'm just gonna stack it up really. And it's gonna go for a Stone Edge, which is really really good for me. Uh, it didn't go for a substitute or a Sword Stance because that would put me in a really bad position. So I'm just gonna bring George here. Uh, forcing him to go for a Sucker Punch while I go for a Hammer Arm. And, well, take it. I don't, I don't take it well, but I take it. And that definitely gonna destroy the buy shop there, obviously. So, we only got Keldeo left. I think God of War. We can go, yeah, Laudios, of course. So, I'm still in some of a rough position here because I can't really outspeed it. So, I'm just gonna decide to sack off my Molder because, well, it's got no further use, really. So, Psyshock doesn't do too much, but Draco Meteor will definitely take me out here. So yeah, I I'm pretty much getting swift at this point. I'm just gonna bring Slacking one more time to at least eradicate something. Uh, let's see here, yeah. I only got Slacking left now, right? Yeah, this is my last poke, actually. So I'm just gonna go for that Retaliate, and uh, I actually finish off this Ladio, so... I'm really glad about that, kill Legendary, that, that is always nice. This guy bring his Phantom, which is God of War. So I think he got God of War and Keldeo left, and there is no way in hell that I am going to turn this thing around. So he's gonna Mega Form into Mega God of War, and just finish things off with a Hyper Voice while I just loafing around. So yeah, this will basically be GG, so thank you Arc playing for this game. Um, I really feel that I am very inexperienced in the higher tiers, and um, that both Gramble uh, not be able to take out the heat rand and uh, the lander surviving the retaliate really really dent my team very early on and uh, yeah i didn't recover i, I couldn't uh, his team was much much tougher than mine was and i really felt that it was too hard for me to turn around uh, it was a fast paced battle though and i liked it but i really feel that next time i'm going against ou that i really have to um, well have a better thought process. The team that I'm using now in the mixed tier is much more thought out uh, and I feel that that is the kind of team I need to use and not go all out with you know the standard stuff because it isn't working uh, at least not for me and not my playstyle. Uh, Sword Claim, hope for a rematch soon. Um, hopefully I'm gonna bring something that is more potent for the higher tiers. Uh, and for everybody else who's been watching, thank you for watching, right? And uh, don't forget to leave a like if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And other than that, you know, guys, thank you for watching and have a good day. All right. Bye.